Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Leo. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is in their uh, Divine Feminine Energy, someone who's very emotionally mature, intuitive. Um, this is someone who is compassionate and caring as well. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the um, Hanged Man, Pi um, Pisces Energy, and we have the five of wands, fire energy. Okay, so in this situation, we do have two queens and we have the five of wands, which is an energy of conflict, competition. So there could be two people involved here. This could be a situation where um, someone is having to choose between two people or um, someone here is having a direct influence on the connection. Some sort of third party person is having a say in the connection and it's causing a conflict of interest or it's causing some sort of chaos you know with the five of wands it's causing drama um and with the hanged man there is this energy of causing stagnancies and delays um it's like being kept in limbo um someone here could be having troubles choosing between two people it's like there's more than there's a lot of people involved here and with the hanged man it's like someone is is becoming passive they're choosing not to act they're choosing not to make a decision they're, they're choosing to not choose and they could have um this person could be going back and forth between two people here. So let's clarify these cards, Leo. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a generous energy. This is a gentle energy. This is an energy of giving and um, emotional security. So this person, there, there is this energy of feeling an emotional attachment to someone, a strong connection to someone here, um, being bonded to someone here on an emotional level with this card is like sincere. Um, this could be someone who, it, it, this could be a past energy. So it's like, if you are resonating with this person who has more than one person, it's like one person is someone from the past. There's uh, a bond, there's this emotional connection and attachment. And um, someone else could be more so a new person or someone where the connection just seems to make more sense. It's more practical. Um, you know, it could be being together with someone because of finances or other reasons that are practical, like responsibilities. But there is just this energy of um, having an emotional connection with one party. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Knight of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so there is someone here needs to be let go of. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, which does show an energy of letting go of something, releasing something. And in this situation, it could be releasing someone. Um, there's just this energy of there being too many people involved. And it's like something needs to be removed or someone needs to be um, 
disregarded in some way. Um, this doesn't have to mean that this person is entertaining more than two people. It's it this this second person could even just be someone who's in their ear and it's interfering with the connection. Um, there is this energy of this person needing to make a decision, needing to choose between two people and let go of one. We have the seven of pentacles, which is an energy of someone who is you know, trying to consider if something is worth it, if, um, you know, making a certain sacrifice is worth it, because with the hanged man, that's also having to make a sacrifice. Um, and there is this energy of this person will sacrifice something for this connection. There is this energy of something needs to be sacrificed in order for this connection to really um, move forward, to blossom in some way. Because at the, as it stands now, it is looking like too many people, it's causing con conflict and it's also causing delays for the connection. And we do see here someone is, it's like they're taking their time choosing. It, this is not something that they're doing quickly. It's like a lot of thought is going back into it. Um, but there is this decision of a sacrifice needing to be made. And with the Knight of Cups, we do see ultimately someone will be making some sort of choice here. Um, you know, choosing one person or choosing one path and having to. You know, it's like choosing this person or choosing this path, path means having to go against something else or having to release someone else. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Leo. Okay, so the card says a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Okay, so there will be some sort of forward movements, a beginning happening here. Someone here, it's becoming even more clear, you know, to them that you can't have your cake and eat it too. Some sort of sacrifice needs to be made. And I, I, we do see this person will eventually be making this sacrifice, um, you know, releasing something. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. So the card says passion. Allow your in it you allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so there is this energy of this person is gonna go with the person who they feel an emotional connection with. Um, there is this energy of choosing love, you know, choosing someone based on love because you also have the Knight of Cups and we also have the Queen of Cups. So it does look like this person is going to follow their heart in the situation. Um, so they're going to act on that decision. Um, whether this is two people or, um, you know, choosing something and releasing something else, this person is going to follow their heart. They're going to do what resonates with their hearts and their emotions. They, it's like this person is choosing to make a sacrifice for the one that they love. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. Card says violet, faithfulness and modesty. Modesty is a shining light that prepares the mind to receive knowledge and the heart for truth. Okay, so this person is listening to their heart. There's this energy of being honest with themselves, being honest emotionally with the whole situation as well. And um, there is just this energy of um, understanding that a decision needs to be made and taking responsibility. Um, they, this person will be making some sort of decision here. It's like a final decision as well. So that it's like coming out of limbo, com coming out of this stagnant energy and making that one last choice to move forward here. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo.